it welcome back to my channel i have another pick a card reading for you today and today's reading is going to be uh you versus them so we are going to take a look at both you and your person's current energies thoughts and feelings uh and then we will look at some oracle cards at the end of the reading plus i do have my water pitcher here to see if we can pull any of those small messages that may resonate with you as well all right so just saying hello to everyone thanking everyone for their continued support um it's so beautiful uh to be on this journey and this experience uh I can't believe where I'm at now compared to when I first started uh, the channel at the end of July. So I am very grateful, I'm very humbled, uh, and I'm very thankful every day for all of you being here. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and please give my videos a thumbs up because that always helps the channel to grow. And for my returning subscribers, it's always beautiful and nice to have your energy here. So welcome back. All right, uh, oh, in the description box below, I do have my email. If you are interested in private readings, you can send me an email and I will give you uh, all the information that you need um and i think that's it all right so we can get started we can take a look at our three piles here today uh this is from spirit animal oracle deck by colette baron reed all right so i have three um animal cards here for pile one you have the beautiful dolphin okay so take a look at that if the dolphin resonates with you this is going to be your reading pile two all right you have this scarab beetle okay so you can take a look at that card and pile three you have this beautiful butterfly spirit so that is going to be your reading if you resonate with the butterfly i'm using the beautiful waterfall tarot deck today for this reading so my chariots why don't you do what you always do to pick your piles pause the video if you need to you are always welcome to listen to all three if you're drawn to more than one and again if none resonates you know how I feel, please kindly back out. You are not pressured to stay. You do not have, nobody's forcing you to listen to any of these readings. So if you are not connecting with my energy, please go check out uh, one of the other beautiful, amazing tarot readers that we have out there. There are just so many. All right, so pick your pile and I will see you there. All right, pile one, hello, welcome to your reading. We are doing you versus them. Okay, so we are taking a look at the energies between you and your person and seeing, you know, what guidance and clarity I can bring to you from this reading. Uh, you chose the dolphin spirit, okay? So we have card number 20 here. So this is going to be your reading. All right, so I do have some oracle cards. We'll take a look at those at the end just to get some confirmation. Um, but before we start out, uh, you know, I am asking you to just center yourself for a second and be still. All right. I want you to just quiet your mind and think about your person. All right. The reason why I do this is because for me, it's not just about reading tarot. Okay, so for those of you where you feel, um, if you wonder why, why I spend this time on video doing this, for me, it's very important because it's all about energy. All right, I have learned over the past two years what energy is, how it's been around me, how I uh, didn't know how to handle it or what to do with it. So, you know, uncovering uh, these 
this beautiful gift that I feel that I do have is all about the energy for me and that's how I read the cards okay um, some tarot readers channel messages from the universe some hear things I for me it's all about the energy that I feel when I hold the cards when I see all of the cards together what energy is present so when I do these readings that's why I'm asking you as a collective to just clear and you know quiet your mind so we can bring in that energy so I could get a good read on it it's very important to me all right so for your reading pile one you chose here this dolphin card the dolphin spirit and the saying on this card is this and that are true all right this is card number 20 all right which reduces to two uh, and the dolphin spirit, you know, what is what does this mean? This and that are true. This means there's a this and that for everything. Okay, so it, it, it even boils down to how you feel inside versus what you show the world externally is a this and a that. Okay, you know, how you truly feel inside something you might not share with anyone versus what you carry and how you show yourself in this 3D material world is a this and that. Uh, this is about a duality, okay? It's about, it's about um, you know, there's polar opposites when it comes to everything. You, the sun and the moon, day and night, um, even down to simple things, right? Oil and vinegar, okay? There's a this and that for everything. And the twos represent duality. They represent choice. And the thing about the dolphin spirit, it's a very playful, joyful kind of energy. So even though when you have uh, hardships going on, when things are tough, when you're feeling low, when the dolphin shows up, this is showing you that time to kind of be playful and pick the this energy okay meaning so even though things can be going pretty tough right now it's this time to just take a breather and and enjoy what is around you okay taking that breath of fresh air smiling at the sunshine enjoying that moonlight this is what the dolphin energy is all about it's a very light-hearted and playful energy okay so this is the message for you all right so as we take a look at that and we start out here um it's definitely i feel that it is a message that's coming through for both you and your person um, it could mean that you know one or both of you have just been way too serious lately um, maybe there's been just a lot of burdens and obstacles and adversities going on in each or both of your lives and it, it's now the universe spirit stepping in with this dolphin energy reminding you to just come up from some air okay you know how a dolphin you know they swim through the ocean and then they come up for air oh i love when i see the dolphins and they're coming up for that beautiful ray of sunshine that enlightenment okay that is spirit giving you you know this message the heads up that it's time that you need to do that you and or your person okay it's time to smell the flowers as they say just you know even if it's for a second all right walk out your front door and just uh take a breath uh, you know take a just go out and breathe the air or look at the trees um it's just taking that time that simple time to enjoy what's around you okay so spirit we are asking for pile one this is you versus them so we want to see what kind of energy comes through for you, Pile One, and for your person. All right, and, and, and see what we get. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to move these here. Um, all right, and then all right 
so pile one, I have you over here. All right, we're going to look at your current energies, your thoughts and your feelings regarding this connection. And I have your person over here for the same current energies, thoughts and feelings. In the middle is the combined energy of the two of you. And we're also looking at that. We'll look at a timeline here, past, present and future and see if we get anything from that as well. And then I do have the Oracle cards here, plus our little the smaller messages that I have in my water pitcher just to see if anything comes out or resonates with you. All right. Um, if you feel that you're the opposite, you know, uh, take it however it resonates for you. So I'm going to do the left side as you, but maybe this is your person coming through with this energy and you actually feel that this is you more. Please take it however it resonates. Just to make it easier on me as I'm doing the reading, I'm going to call the left hand side uh, you, the viewer, and then the right hand side, your person. So let's take a look. What do we got here? Oh, the page of pentacles. All right, so your current energy is about grounding it's about wanting to make something real okay it's about the here and now right now and this is often seen as a message of you know wanting to extend that olive branch all right wanting to relay that message or possibly an apology or you know wanting to reach out to your person you have feelings right now of wanting to communicate and talk with them and usually it extends with this gift or offer and this is the page of pentacles the page of pentacles oftentimes is uh i've heard it almost i've heard the page of pentacles be called actually a mini man um, a mini magician all right, because it's something that you want to manifest and take action on in this physical material world right now. All right, so let's see what your current energies of your person are. Ooh, the king of pentacles. All right, so they're in pentacle energy as well. So there's strong earth energy that's showing up here, okay, which uh is taurus it's a virgo and capricorn um the king of pentacles is all about security and stability all right it's it's about safety it's about uh commitment it's about responsibilities in this physical material 3d world so your person is coming across right now as you know they are committed they have responsibilities they are someone's provider they're working on stability they could just be working on financial wealth for themselves okay but it's all about what's going on in their physical material world they could have a home um, in this picture i'm looking at the castle that's right here behind uh the king of pentacles and their their chair their throne so they could have a home that they're working on or committed to um let's take a look at thoughts all right what are your thoughts when it comes to this connection Oh, wow, the Three of Wands. Okay, so this is the card about journey. All right, this is the journey card. This is about waiting for that right opportunity, waiting for your ship to come in. Um, I also see this as a card of yearning, okay? When this uh, gentleman is looking out to sea, this gives me the feeling of, look how, this um, person still has his hand on this wand, okay? And this is a card of yearning. This could represent uh, long distance. So this can represent that the two of you are not um, anywhere near each other. You can be across bodies of water, all right? You can live in different locations or different cities, uh, different states or countries. Um, or it's just that the two of you haven't been physically face to face. So when I see this card, this gives me a feeling about the yearning because you want to see each other 
face to face. All right, so let's see what's coming through in your person's thoughts. Ooh, the Ace of Wands. I love how both of you are on the same page so far. Your current energies are in pentacles. Your thoughts are both the wands, which is this fire energy. Uh, your person's thinking about something new that they want to create. All right, because the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings. It's about new opportunities, a potential that's here. And it's about creation, it's about projects, it's about passion and desire. Okay, so there's definitely something new that your person, all right, wants to start. Uh, let's take a look at feelings, okay? Ooh, the Knight of Swords, yeah, you are just dying to talk to your person, uh, pile one. We have the Knight of Swords, this is that impulsive energy where you just want to fly into battle this is the night this is the impulsive night um, this is not the uh, graceful elegant uh, diplomat here this is this night that charges into battle uh, very risky impulsive behaviors and being that this is the swords this is all about communication so i feel that you are just dying to want to uh, offer this pentacle up you really uh, want to talk to your person um, i'm feeling overall with these three cards here you really miss your person okay you miss the face to face you miss uh, communicating and you just miss them not being around in this here and now all right that's what i'm getting from your three cards and then over here what are your person's feelings oh the five of swords okay so they're definitely feeling uh the, you know the five of swords is about I feel that they lost a battle here when it comes to you or they've lost out on something. This is about chaos. This is about conflict. Um, it could mean jealousies as well. Uh, but I definitely feel that uh, mentally they are struggling with, uh, and look at that too. Isn't that amazing? Swords again for feelings. So again, this, you know, swords are air energy. So there's pentacles, wands, and um, swords here. And I just find it how you're both in tune as far as your current energies, thoughts, and feelings. Um, but your person is struggling because there's, I feel like there's some sort of competition or, or something that they're struggling with uh, that they feel like they've lost out on. Let's take a look at the combined energies here. So for the combined energies, oh wow, the 10 of wands. So there's definitely burden between this connection, right? There's a definitely burden. Um, first thing I wanna do is I just wanna clarify the five of swords on your person's side when it comes to feelings. So spirit, can we just clarify this five of swords here? What is this five of swords about? The Six of Pentacles, which is all about giving and receiving. And the Seven of Wands. Well, your person feels very guarded right now. They feel very defensive, okay, with the Seven of Wands energy that's here. I feel with the King of Pentacles here being this first, their, their current energy overall, uh, I feel that they're almost, uh, they feel stretched right now. They feel like they're being pulled in too many di uh, different directions and because of that, they're very defensive and guarded, all right? I feel that with this giving and receiving, this is not balanced for them and they feel like they're giving in too many places. Um, and this burdens them because they're, they have these desires here. They have these desires to want to start this new passion, this new desire, this new opportunity. 
all right? But the combined energy between the two of you are stressed at the moment, all right? There's a burden here with this Ten of Wands. Spirit, can we clarify this Ten of Wands, please? The Three of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Let me see what's going on in past, present, and future here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, lots of Pentacles. Lots of Earth energy. Presently with the Two of Swords and the future. Seven of Pentacles. I feel, what I'm seeing here is I feel pile one. Um, this is a relationship or a connection where the two of you want to actually be a team together. All right, you miss each other very much. Look at this five of pentacles here. Um, a lot of earth energy. The whole, the three cards out here are all pentacles. All right, so this is confirming to me, and, and you have two cards even in your, your past and future. Um, this is all about wanting to ground this connection. This connection is not grounded right now. All right, so this is something that you, the two of you both want to happen. All right, you want to collaborate, you wanna grow, you wanna expand with one another. You miss each other very much right now. So for a lot of you, you are not in communication or this is some sort of separation. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is here. You're, you're both just moving along with your lives. Uh, you're focusing on, uh, like, like this King of Pentacles over here, the combined energy, you're focused on stability. You're, you're focused on home life, financial means, uh, just everything that's going on around you in this 3D world. Uh, oh, with the past energy here of the Knight of Pentacles, uh, I feel this is something that you were both committed to, all right? It was a slow moving energy, but you were both very driven towards this, all right? You were both focused on each other. Um, definitely the two of you, uh, you felt stability within, uh, each each other all right but at present now this ten of wands here we have the two of swords in the present energy on the timeline here which is showing me that there's an indecision here that needs to be you know there's a decision that needs to be made with this two of swords uh someone is not facing a decision whether it's you pile one or your person or it could just be the both of you uh and i just feel like Right now, you're just living in, um, how can I describe this? You're just, you're just going through the motions, I feel, right now, with this Queen of Pentacles here in your lives, all right? And you're not, and, and, someone's head is buried in the sand they're not seeing things for what they actually are um, there's frustration here in the future all right because now we have the seven of pentacles so one or both of you i feel has to be an earth sign and if not it there's this is a you know the main message of this reading is all about grounding okay because this is the seven of pentacles is about frustration it's about time and it's about patience all right, because I feel there's feelings here that the both of you are not reaping the rewards that you are looking for when it comes to your lives. All right, you're at a point here where you're frustrated because you want to experience something new and something passionate and you're not here. All right, things are just kind of moving very slowly with this Knight of Pentacles. All right, very slowly. So let's take a look 
let's take a look and and maybe there's just too much seriousness here with these pentacles you know maybe it's time to lighten that load with this dolphin all right this dolphin spirit but it does you know this is a card number 20 um which is about judgment and that is about awakening and judgment is about a choice okay which then boils down to this two of swords which is the same type of message you know having to make a choice about something so i feel like you both need to make a choice pile one about your lives because i feel that you're just uh, going through the motions um, and not looking at anything beyond what is uh, in this material world uh, with so many pentacles here i feel that you're both focused on material things instead of looking at the bigger picture all right um, what is also intriguing and very interesting to me and i just am double checking here there are no cups in this reading so there's no uh, there are no emotions even though uh, this third card um, is centered towards how each of you are feeling even in your feelings i'm not getting any emotions there's communication that needs to be you know i know you're you're wanting to talk and over here i know this person is going through conflict and struggle but there's no cups in this reading which is showing me that the emotions have been kind of pushed out of the situation uh, for whatever reason or scenario that might be okay on the bottom of the deck oh look at this there's a tower moment all right so definitely something's going on here there's a tower moment between the two of you we have the eight of swords behind that so someone's definitely feeling trapped okay so there's definitely something going on in the here and now this present situation all right that is actually pushing out the emotions in this reading for me to get a good read on them let's take a look at your oracle cards and see what's coming through reconciliation okay so this can confirm someone from your past is returning to your life so as i mentioned uh, you and your person could be separated you're looking for a reconciliation here um, oh my goodness take a look at that separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon all right so i feel like yes the two of you are in some sort of breakup or split some sort of separation where you're not um, speaking and uh, you are trying to continue with everything you know in this physical material world yet you both have these thoughts about you know these passions and desires that you're looking towards but um, too many material things are are blocking this connection at this time and here here we have the message from lovers oracle secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so one or both of you definitely have feelings here but it certainly isn't showing up in this reading with all the pentacles with all the material things that are going on so let me see what i can get here from my water pitcher and we'll see if anything comes out for you that may resonate all right so let's i will do initials first and then there's numbers here and then i have keywords i have zodiac signs and let's see all right so four letters we have h we have c we have u we have j and we have the letter n okay And somehow when I look at these letters, the word that comes to mind is churn. So I feel there's a lot of churn that is going on in this situation right now. For zodiac signs, I only have one coming through. That's Aries. 
Um, wait, oh no, 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 hold on. Wait, did I not get them all? I do have Aquarius coming through here as well. So there's Aquarius. And then for numbers, I have 26. I have five. I have 12. I have 19 and 22. Um, and then for keywords, enthusiastic, gorgeous, efficient, generous, and silly. So these can be some words that describe you and or your person. And then little messages, I have, I miss you and soulmates all right so someone feels like soulmates i i feel like that's you pile one you feel like this person is your soulmate um but wow talk about a lot of pentacles coming through in this um reading so whatever churn is going on right now here with this tower moment it's definitely uh shining through um definitely a lot of obstacles that are in the way currently keeping this connection separated all right so i'm going to leave the reading here i hope that resonated pile one with you in some way and i will see you again soon hello pile two you chose the scarab beetle here for your reading all right and we are doing a pick a card reading today on you versus your person we're taking a look at current energies thoughts and feelings and seeing what comes through I'll take a look at combined energies and the timeline of pe past, present, and future as well. Okay, we do have some oracle cards and I am using the waterfall tarot. So you all know what I like to do at the start of each reading. This is the time where I want you to just quiet your mind. Actually, I'm gonna use this one here and be still for a second. Um, and the reason I, I've been saying to the piles, um, I said to pile one and I'm saying it to your pile as well, is the reason why I do this is because energy is very important to me, okay? Uh, a big, huge part of my journey has been learning about the energy that exists around me and within me. Uh, and, and how to use it and how to uh, control it and just be aware of its presence. So when I am reading tarot, my chariots, I rely heavily on the presence of the energy that surrounds me what I feel when I pick up the cards, what I feel when I look at all the cards together as a story. And it's really important to bring in that collective energy, all right, so that we can get a accurate reading, all right? If you choose not to do this and then the reading doesn't resonate, I'm not surprised. Um, but this is how I like to do it. So please take a minute to center yourself I just want you to think about your person. I just want you to still and quiet your mind. All right, while well, we see, so this is for pile two spirits. And this is a you versus them. We are taking a look at current energies, thoughts, and feelings, and see what guidance and clarity we can give to pile two, please. So pile two, you are starting off with the scarab beetle, okay? And the scarab beetle is all about the magic that works through you. And I find this to be beautiful because this is all about your power in believing, all right? This is this is the power pile two of belief okay this is about believing uh and this is a card number 52 which 
reduces to seven and that is the chariot that's the beautiful cancerian energy coming through here and it's about that power to believe in yourself the chariot is about forward movement okay but number seven number seven is in regards to that beautiful spiritual divine connection with spirit with the universe whatever you feel it's having that connection all right and again it's energy it's having that connection and believing in what you feel and the energy and the presence that is around you okay and it's more than just this 3d material world all right so this is a beautiful card it is about divine intervention it is about having that spiritual connection and realizing it and it's about believing in magic okay so let's start out pile two this i'm going to call the left side you the right side your person for ease all right we're looking at current energies we're looking at thoughts and feelings in the center i have combined energies here and then i do have the timeline of past present and future so if we start off with your current energies pile two ooh, we have six of swords okay so this is all about moving away so you definitely are moving away from something pile two uh, it could be this connection or it could be something else in your life the whole purpose of the six of swords is moving away for something um, of the good to better yourself you know usually with the six of swords um, now here the water is just dark you see it's just dark and, and murky and black um, in traditional tarot it looks tumultuous rocky right where the picture is showing the calmer seas that are ahead you want to move on to something that is going to be better for you so you're definitely into this energy of wanting to move on to make things better for you uh, if we look at your person's current energies um, the page of pentacles all right so they are in this they are in this energy of wanting to make something real in this here and now all right um, this page of pentacles showed up in the first reading uh, this page is sometimes called a mini magician because this is all about manifesting something in the here and now you see this page offering this pentacle and pages are all about messages all right um, and this is uh, kind of like that message of wanting to extend an olive branch wanting to an extend apology or wanting to extend something a gift um, maybe uh, you know your person wants to give you something a gift uh, in this here and now um, it could represent children as well pages do represent children so we'll see what comes out what else comes out in the cards but let's take a look at the past energy between the two of you oh wow so there is definitely love here all right and i feel that both of you were looking for this new start this new um, potential to have this chance at love all right we have the beautiful ace of cups the i love you card here so i feel like both of you definitely have these deep feelings for one another um, let's take a look at your thoughts when it comes to this person all right the high priestess so you're you're quiet right now you're not you're not letting on and you're not saying much pile two all right the high priestess she's the all-knowing the beautiful um intuitive soul uh, very intelligent has one foot in this 3d world and one foot in the above all right so she knows what's going on she follows her intuition so you definitely know um, how you're feeling you you know how um, what you're thinking but you're not speaking about it or right? you're not talking about it your person pile two ooh, page of swords so two pages so far um, this is possibly your person can be younger than you 
because the pages are definitely a younger energy they're they're sometimes immature or it's a more naive energy and there's two pages that are coming out for your person so it is possible that your person has children or there's an age difference in this in this um, relationship um, but the page of swords is you know your person over here can be watching you um, they're keeping an eye on you or they're just still very interested in you so if you both of you are seeing each other if you are dating if you're in a relationship your person is still very interested in you uh, if by chance this is you're not in any form of communication or you're separated um, this could be just that your person's keeping an eye on you. If you have um, any type of social media, they could be looking out for you that way, but they're very watchful. The Page of Swords, um, this is about curiosity, all right? The Page of Swords is very curious. It's, it's wanting to learn something new. It's wanting to use your mind, and it's it's you know being very interested in you know this page picks up the sword and wants to swing it because they want to take action they want to learn something new they want to expand their horizons and their mind all right let's see what's going on with present energy between the both of you oh we have the three of swords here heartbreak all right so there is some heartbreak going on here this could definitely represent a breakup um, but hearts are broken in regards to this connection. So let's take a look at feelings then. What are your feelings towards this pile too? Wow. The two of cups. So you love this person. The two of cups is here. You are in love with this person pile too. You love them very much. And how is your person feeling? Oh my goodness, the Four of Wands. So with the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands on their side, we have this heartache in between. You know, this feels like a twin flame journey, all right? Lots of pain, um, love at first sight, immediate connection here in the past with this Ace of Cups. And then we have this, um, this sad, you know, three of swords, and this shows the pain from this journey and the heartache. All right, um, let me, I'm very curious. I do want to, before we move on, clarify your six of swords. So spirit, can we clarify the six of swords here? So you're keeping your feelings hidden right now from this person, pile two. You love them very much. Um, and, and they have the feelings of homecoming, of union, all right? They have the Four of Wands, the 1111 card, all right? So there's some very deep, intense feelings that are going on between the both of you. The Six of Swords, all right? The Knight of Pentacles, the Strength card. the hermit so I feel that you've had to move away from this connection pile too for whatever reason spirits not letting me know that but what they are telling me what I'm feeling when I'm holding these cards is that you know, you have the card of strength here, all right? You have this card of strength, um, and, and that is showing me that um, even though you feel that you've had to pull back, that you've had to move away from this connection, uh, you're still pulled towards it with this Knight of Pentacle energy, but this is showing me time. All right, because this is a very slow moving energy, but it's something that you're still very dedicated towards. And you have been doing a lot of going within. Okay, so with this high priestess here and now the hermit, which is Virgo energy, um, the high, you know, I feel that you are the one that's withdrawn, that you've been doing a lot of soul searching, you've been doing a lot of self reflecting. 
okay regarding this this hermit is all in blue showing me that throat chakra which is all about speaking your truth so i feel that you're struggling with that right now pile two you're you're struggling to speak up about this for whatever that reason is it could be that you know uh, you are just so afraid of being hurt that you're afraid to let this person know how you truly feel about them. Um, you're, you're With the strength card here, you're trying to be strong, but I also feel that it represents just how strongly you feel about this person, all right? That your feelings run very deep with this two of cups here, okay? Um, and I just want to clarify on their side, just these pages, I want to see if I can get any other additional information. Uh, Spirit, can we clarify the page of pentacles and the page of swords here? The queen of cups. Wow, the King of Cups. Oh, wow. And the Hanged Man. Your, your person is very, very watchful for you. Your, your person has, with this Hanged Man here, they see things from a higher perspective. They know they have these, as these feelings run deep for your person. All right, we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. Uh, the emotions that run deep. This is divine counterparts that are here with this four of wands, okay? And with the hanged man, this is about surrendering. It's about letting go. Um, it's about a card of non-action. So I feel that you are both taking, um, you are both in this energy of non-action right now, even though you both feel so deeply for one another and you both believe in this magic, all right? You both feel the energy here of this scarab beetle, but yet neither of you are taking action towards this union occurring. Let me see what the combined energy of the two of you are. Okay, eight of pentacles, all right. I feel that you're both working hard right now. Um, you're both wanting to invest in this connection, but you're both working very hard, I feel, on yourselves, okay, in, in this physical 3D material world. I feel like you're trying to master something within each of you, but the combined energy of the eight of pentacles is showing me how you both want to invest in this relationship what are the future energies Ooh, the seven of swords that feels like you both are scared that there's fear here of a missed opportunity let me clarify the three of swords in the present and the seven of swords because there is heartache here so spirit can we clarify the three of swords all right now there's the four of swords which is showing me that there's healing between both of you so you're both working on healing five of cups there's regret and remorse there is regret and remorse here. And the three of pentacles, there is regret and remorse because because this has not grounded yet into this here and now. The three of pentacles is all about growth. It's about collaboration and it's about teamwork. All right, so there's regret and remorse here because I feel that the two of you have not been able to come together yet. Spirit, can we clarify the Seven of Swords here? Ooh, the Eight of Swords. Wow, there's a lot going on in your both thinking about this 
you're both in your minds constantly thinking about this since this is part of the timeline here with the three of swords the four of swords you're trying to heal from this there's a lot of hurt here because of regret and remorse and yet for future energies both of you keep fearing you feel trapped you feel trapped and entangled in a situation each of you that you're not going to be able to experience um, this with each other uh, the seven of swords here t with these cards is appearing I feel heavily that it's a missed opportunity in this case you feel that you're not going to be able to come together and that is on both of your minds all right you're both feeling this on the bottom of the deck the nine of pentacles yes you want the freedom and independence to have this experience with one another all right because we have two nines showing up oh wow look we have two nines and the lovers so i feel like you are working on yourselves to become independent and free because you realize the emotional happiness that the two of you bring to one another we have the lovers card here so we have the lovers the two of cups and the four of wands all right if this isn't confirmation of a strong spiritual deep soul connection um and the ace of cups i mean really this is off the charts with all these cards that are appearing all right that is showing and confirming to me uh this journey that each of you are on you know and 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 what this shows me as well it's almost like this mini timeline of each of you are now in the part of your journey where you are I do feel that in this journey this is a separation right now and you're working on yourselves so this is that time where you're working on yourselves to get to this ninth cup where you feel emotionally fulfilled where you're content with yourself and when that happens then this is the union of the lovers with the four of wands that's here wow let's take a look at your oracle cards and then i'll pull some messages from my water pitcher so what do we have here finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now all right so it it, it could be that you are you know part of the journey of yourselves is working on your finances furthering your career getting yourselves each of you to a state where you're going to be able to um, be financially capable of experiencing this beautiful connection religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path now for some of you there could be actual religious factors that keep you apart right now but when i see this card and especially with all the cards that have come out in this reading this is confirming what a spiritual connection this is between the two of you all right this is confirming to me that this is a a deep soul connection going on here this is something that's been guided by the universe spirit they're looking and watching over the both of you right now and from the lover's oracle we have this card here friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve and there's also something coming through here about friendship i feel that uh that's something that your person pile two feels very strongly about i feel that there really was a very deep friendship between the two of you and it's almost that friendship and those feelings even though there was i i feel a deep intense connection here a love at first sight but there's something that's linking um, the word friendship and how important that was to your person and if you are in any form of separation right now where you are broken up or not seeing one another uh, not speaking or in communication that is something that your person misses very much and yearns for okay so before we close out let's do oh, and look let's 
see here. All right, so. Wow, that was a lot. Um, let me separate, we'll do numbers. All right, so we have zodiac signs. All right, it's keywords in here. Let's see. All right. And then I have little statements. Okay, so if we start with letters, we have X. All right, like X marks the spot. We have J, we have W. No. We have N, okay? Um, numbers, seven, um, six or nine, take it how it resonates. We have 16. Number 24, 13, and 19, okay? And for zodiac signs, Virgo. And we have Aries and Libra. Libra energies here. And then for key words, we have kind. Now these are words that either can describe you or your person how they see you or how you see them. Silly. We have some sass here, sassy. Wise, someone can be very intelligent. Fair. Um, we have calm and generous. And then for little statements, I want to move forward. I want to hold you and I dream of you. Wow, beautiful, beautiful reading pile two. So that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to end it there um, and I'll see you again at the next reading. Okay, pile three, you picked this beautiful butterfly card for your reading today, all right? And we are asking spirit, this is a you versus them reading. So we're going to take a look at current energies, um, thoughts and feelings, and see what comes through for the both of you. Uh, and then we will look at some oracle cards and I have my water pitcher here where we'll get some messages to see if any of those resonate with you as well. All right, and as I've said to all three piles, so before we get started, uh, I am going to ask you to take a deep breath and clear your mind, all right? And I just wanted to let you know the reason why this matters to me. Um, and this is because for me personally, as I learned how to do these readings, and I've learned myself how much energy is important, okay? Um, for me, energy does not lie. And it took me a while to realize what was going on with myself and around me when it came to energy. Uh, so I feel that when I do these readings, a lot of it for me is the energy that I'm feeling, okay, when I hold the cards, when I look at the cards as a story, just the presence, the presence of the energy around me is what guides me. And that has been um, an amazing journey that I've been on for the past couple of years, why I try to figure this out. So it's so important for me if I ask my collective to just quiet their minds for a second and think about their person so I can pull that energy in so that I could give guidance and clarity to what I feel is needed the most, all right? So for you, pile three, I am asking you to just take a deep breath and think about your person. 
and we are going to take a look and see what comes through. So Spirit, this is for Pile 3. And I am using the beautiful Waterfall Tarot. This is a deck that um, I purchased off of Etsy. So um, it is a beautiful, beautiful deck. I love the colors in it. All right. And Pile 3, you're starting off here with the Butterfly. Um which is all about transformation. Okay. Um, and, and the depiction and the wording in this card, transformation is beautiful. So it's written right there. This is card number 11. Um, and in tarot, that's justice. Okay, that is the Justice card, which is all about harmony and peace, being fair and honest, okay, to others. So I do feel that your person, Pile 3, is definitely going through some key transformation at this point, okay, with this beautiful butterfly card here definitely changes all right definitely going through some changes there definitely may be some obstacles in the way with this number 11 you know and the the justice card sometimes that feels like karma um the cause and the effect all right so i definitely feel that you and your person can be struggling because you are in this process of transforming and when we transform, even though we can transform into something beautiful, the journey of transformation is not always easy. So there definitely can be some uncomfortable changes, uncomfortable growth that each of you are dealing with. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna start with you, Pile 3. I have you on the left side and your person on the right, if you feel that the energies are switched and you feel this is more you, that's fine. It's just easier for me to explain the reading this way. All right, and then we'll take a look at the combined energy here in the center. And I have a timeline of past, present, and future to see if we can get additional clarity. So if we start with you, we have the moon. Okay, pile three. So you are coming through as the moon. So there's definitely secrets here. There's fears, okay? There's there's fears about the unknown, right? The moon is all about illusions. It could be cycles. So it could be representing the, some of this transformation and the change because there's different cycles going on right now. But I definitely feel that something is being withheld here, uh, some sort of secret when it comes to this connection. So let's keep going. Let's see what your person's current energies are. Ooh, the King of Wands. So they are in a state of wanting to take action. Um, the King of Wands is very desirable, very charming, very charismatic. Um, this King knows, knows what he wants and this King is all about taking action to go get it, all right? It's about willpower. It's about drive and it's about following through with those actions that want to be taken. Um, let's take a look at past energies between the both of you. Okay, the Ten of Wands is here. So obviously there's some sort of burden um, in regards to this relationship or this connection. There's hardship here. There's, you know, something's very strained, feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Um, something feeling very heavy let's take a look at your thoughts pile three wow the emperor is here all right so with this moon and the emperor i feel pile three that you are very guarded and you are holding back and in fact you have these boundaries that you have put up um, from your person it's almost I feel like you're trying to block their energy 
or block uh, the relationship, um, the connection, but it's like you are trying to take this stance of being in control, right? Um, you are trying to be in control and it's almost like I feel like you're trying to be in control and you're trying to block out the desires that you have for your person with this fire that I see behind it. The emperor's in this red cloak. Um, and yet I feel this, look, there's a dog here with this emperor, this loyalty um, that is coming through, all right? There's, the, yet you feel loyal. Um, to, to this person and yet you're blocking them, um, you're resisting them. Uh, there's boundaries that are set in place here and maybe that's boundaries that are out of your control, all right? So because of that, you're withholding from this person, you feel the need to withhold from them. Um, let's keep going, but there, you know, the reason why there's on the timeline, there's bird, there's definitely something that happened here that caused this burden. Um, let's look at their thoughts. Okay. So your person, you know, they don't know what's going on. They feel trapped is, is what I'm getting. And it's very emotional for them right now. All right. Because they have this passion and this drive towards you and I feel that they know that you are resisting them at this point and you know that is causing your person to feel uh, sort of like they're they're spinning out of control um, because this person is standing in so much water in this picture of the eight of swords I feel it's very emotional for your person because your, your person doesn't like to feel trapped like this. I feel that your person, you know, really wants to know what is going on when it comes to your thoughts and feelings. And you, pile three, are, are not allowing them to experience this at this time, okay? Because of this, this power, this emperor power that's here. Let's see what is going on with the present energies. And yet the passion exists between the both of you, all right? We have the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands is all, you know, she's so inspiring, so optimistic, uh, so intuitive. So I feel yet you both have these deep, desirable feelings towards one another. And yet um, because of a situation that has caused some hurt, some burden, um, some complications, some adversity, uh, you pile three have chosen to, to remain hidden and you still have these passions and desires as I mentioned earlier because of this picture, it's all red, okay? Showing me that desire that is here so I am curious as to why you are holding back, but first I wanna clarify this 10 of wands, because I wanna see what happened in this past energy that caused this 10 of wands. So um, Spirit, can you clarify for me this 10 of wands energy? Oh, wow, the Empress. Wow, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So definitely pile pile three. First, we have divine counterparts showing up. We have the emperor and the empress in this reading. So that is beautiful energy coming through here. Um, the knowing of the two counterparts that exist. We have the ace of swords here, which is showing me the clarity. All right, so I feel, I feel pile three that you've reached this clarity um, where you realize that your person is this divine, divine counterpart. 
but because of that that has given you conflict now so you've reached clarity you know and you understand that um, yes you keep it hidden for whatever reasons there's boundaries here um, but it's causing burden because you you see your person as this empress this queen of cups okay you see there's this energy coming through pile three that you um feel the growth the expansion with this person you feel the compassion and the love with this person um, you have the clarity here with the ace of swords that's that new beginning that's reaching clarity but because you reach that clarity now you are causing um, now you are are dealing i guess the transformation is here sort of say because now you have to deal with the conflict the inner conflict that you're causing um, yourself because of these boundaries that you have set up to stay away from this person um, let's go to feelings first um, before I clarify I want to see pile three how you're feeling when it comes to this person All right so we have the seven of cups here I feel that you are dreaming about them and that you think about them all the time feel that you constantly dream about the future with them and you see them as part of your future how is your person feeling oh goodness gracious the ten of swords so your person pile three and i said again take this how this resonates if you feel that the energies are flipped it certainly can be the case but this person over here because they have this action and desire and this will uh, this this king of wands shows me that this person knows exactly how they feel and because you are withholding from them this person is broken heart all right broken hearted um, we have the ten of swords here which represents an ending you know is showing me the boundaries that has been set in place by you pile three okay and this person is very hurt because of that what is the combined energies here the seven of pentacles and yet each of you are, are equally frustrated because of where this relationship exists at the moment neither of you are satisfied um, with where th where things are right now um let me see future yeah look knight of wands you both just want to journey towards each other there's this passion here and desire of wanting to come together so let me clarify I want to clarify a couple things here I want to clarify the Emperor and the moon over here these boundaries that are set in place I want to see if we can clarify this so spirit can we please clarify the Emperor here with the moon and the seven of cups why why are these boundaries here in place the six of Pentacles This person can't give to you. Ooh, the Seven of Swords. There's some deception here. Ooh, and the Eight of Wands. This person, oh, not this person, I'm sorry. Pile three, I feel that you, I feel that there's this okay so I feel that there's these boundaries in place because you feel you cannot give to them equally at this time with the six of Pentacles the seven of swords in this case with these cards is showing me that you are not being honest with your feelings for them again the moon is here and that you're hiding them Right? and yet we have the eight of wands here which is all about passion desire and it's this fast movement wanting to move forward uh, wanting 
to move towards this person. It's about um, also communication, wanting and feeling that needs to communicate. It could also represent uh, long distance and travel. So for some of you, you just could have these feelings that you really want to travel towards this person and that you want to communicate with them face to face. But with the moon and the seven of swords here, you are not being honest or truthful about your feelings for your person. Uh, and I feel that your person knows this and they realize it. But let me just clarify. I do want to clarify here the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Because this person is feels like they're very beaten down. I feel that they're very tired and exhausted uh, from having to deal with the lack of communication and the lack of understanding that's been given towards them. The Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, wow. So, Pile 3, you are in a another commitment. You are committed to someone else. You possibly have a family and or children here. Maybe this person was unaware of that and then once they found out they were heartbroken or they're just heartbroken in general because you put these walls up after the fact. So I feel that the two of you definitely have developed these deep emotional feelings for one another um, with the emperor and the empress here. All right, that is divine counterparts coming through, realizing that there is this deep connection with the ace of swords and the queen of cups but yet these boundaries were put into place, almost like cutting the other person off. And it could be because pile three, you, unless this is your person, but involved, you are committed to someone else. You have other commitments and there's a family here with the 10 of pentacles. All right, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, that's family, that's commitment, that's security, stability. You know, this person is heartbroken because you can't give to them that you have other commitments um, to something else in this physical, material world. All right, so this is a transformation for both of you because you are both reaching this clarity now that you realize the feelings that the two of you have for one another and yet what is going to be done about it um let me clarify let me clarify it's amazing too we have the king of wands the queen of wands so there is this equal you know you both have the same feelings for one another even though you pile three or if it is your person, someone's withholding completely from the other. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. This is something that is taking time. The Nine of Cups. Oh wow, look at this, death. I don't know if I've, even seen this death card yet in this deck wow this is just a, a a really different way of portraying this death card but here's the death card you know starting with that butterfly energy here's the transformation here's the change all right here's the change that has occurred between the two of you both of you have this passion to want to move towards one another and yet both of you actually want to commit to it in this physical material world with the knight of pentacles but this is a slow moving energy so this is going to take time for things to work out and come together as you work towards look you you both realize the emotional fulfillment that you would get from one another all right, reaching that emotional fulfillment within yourself so then you can, you know, work towards that 10th cup, but this transformation is occurring right now. 
this transformation between the both of you. You both have transformed one another. Look on the bottom of the deck. Yes, the Three of Swords. There's heartache here. There's a lot of heartache and heartbreak. All right. Um, you have to heal from that. Look, which is here because you, you both want to take this leap of faith. Okay, the fool is here, this energy to take this leap of faith. But here is that four of swords, that healing after the three of swords. This needs to happen first before you can take this leap of faith. All right, you both have to be able to heal from certain things here. Wow, so let's take a look at your oracle cards. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Uh, this very well can be coming through because I do feel uh, a heaviness um, with this reading. There is a heaviness, even though I feel this desire and passion, there is a lot of hev heaviness. There's a lot of burden um, that comes with this connection, which makes it difficult, I feel like. You know, this is the universe. This is spirit's way of uh, letting you both know, pile three, that you kind of need to take that deep breath, all right, and and enjoy some of the lightheartedness that's you know coming. Even though this the situation can be very heavy right now. What else? Oh wow, children. Your love life is being affected by children, so I definitely feel that children are involved, okay, in this um, connection in some way, all right? Children are linked. Um, like I did mention, I feel like there is commitment and family involved, you know, a third-party situation um, that is going on. And if the children part doesn't resonate with you, there's definitely a commitment to something else um, that is just as great. You know, the, the responsibilities and the burdens are there, whether it's having to take care of a parent or having um, to care for, say, a sick grandparent. Something is here that is... Uh, definitely keeping you or your person pile three from experiencing the true emotional feelings that you both have from one another because of the boundaries that have been set in place freedom wow this card is about freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So this is Spirit's way of saying to you, you know, or to your person that whatever is holding you back here, whatever has caused you uh, to put up, you know, whether it's the fears of the unknown, whether those boundaries were set in place for a reason, Spirit's here to tell you that that's not good enough that's not a reason um freedom independence it can happen you have the choice you have the ability to make that happen all right let's look at the messages and see what's coming through here all right let's see uh, numbers letters words and then I have little kind of little like little messages as well um, all right mm -hmm. all right so for letters, we have S, we have M or W, Ooh, we have M or W again, and we have the letter H, all right? And for numbers, we have 14, we have 31, we have 24, 17, 
18, 28, and 4. Um, for zodiac signs, we have Leo energy here coming through, and we have Gemini, all right? And then for keywords, these can describe um, you or your person. We have happy, all right? So I feel like one of you feels very happy when you're with this person. Stable is coming through. That's because of that king and ten of pentacles. Um, rebellious somebody's being rebellious you know this the the emperor that's blocking here that's a very stubborn um, rebellious energy um, impulsive someone's feeling impulsive spiritual and deep all right there's something very deep is going on here and then we have look longing cycles which is definitely part of transformation in that moon energy we have look far apart here so the two of you can be living in different areas and then the feeling of i want to move forward someone wants to move forward here so all right pile three that was your reading for today i hope it resonated and i will talk to you again soon